Hi everybody, welcome to BOS uh, Small Scale Gold Mining. My name is Brian. Harry's holding the camera. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about gold ore and a possible way that you can use to find it. Now, you know gold's not magnetic. That's true. Um, you can add a few uh, special chemical to it that's very dangerous and possibly make it a little bit magnetic. Um, but because it's a uh, carcinogen and it's highly controlled, you probably don't want to try that. You can look that up online if you're really interested. Um, but if you look behind me, you're looking at a whole bunch of gold ore that all came from within a few feet of each other. Uh, now, as you know, you've probably been told that gold comes with quartz. Let's take a look at a rock and find out. Come on up here. Quartz. And we got something here that's mineralized. That means it's got metal in it or other minerals. You can see it's even a little yellow. However, if we do that, you can see it flashes and it doesn't really stay lit. Um, that means it's probably not gold. However, this is a little bit pyritic. It's starting to try. It's poorly formed pyrite. That means it's got iron and it's got sulfur. What we're looking for is this. With this, in layers. As you can see, that's layered nicely. Sometimes it doesn't look this obvious. This has been freshly broken. So you're seeing it dry and very fresh. So let's look at the other side where it's not so fresh, where it was exposed. Now you can see what it looks like when it's exposed and rusted. Looks nice and red. That means there's some iron in this. Okay, remember I said gold is not magnetic. The iron, however, is. And we tend to find gold in a pyretic situation. Most of the gold in the world will be found tied to pyrite of one way or the other. Pyrite, when it starts to rust, becomes a little bit magnetic. Usually near the surface, that's an oxide type of ore. So let's test this with a magnetometer that you probably have in your phone. As a matter of fact, your phone probably has three of them. So we're going to turn off the camera a second. We're going to set up my phone in magnetometer mode. You can get a magnetometer uh, app in a lot of places. And there's a lot of them. Sometimes they come with a lot of other apps like an altimeter accelerometer, GPS, you name it, you buy an app, you're, you're going to be able to do this. You don't have to buy one. You usually get these uh, magnetometer apps for free online at the Play Store, uh, wherever. As a matter of fact, Harry, who's holding the camera, is working on a special magnetometer that we're gonna, that's called a radiometer. Radiometer uses two magnetometers, one on the bottom of a stick, and one on the top of a stick. And then you feed them both into a computer. And the computer measures the difference in the magnetic field between the two magnetometers. And then reports them to you. If there's a difference, that means one of them has entered a magnetic field and the other one is probably still up here in a weak magnetic field. When you get near a lot of iron, there's going to be a magnetic field. So you can walk, basically you can walk across a field with nothing showing, holding a gradiometer, and every time you cross something that's metal, like a pipe, or possibly a gold ore that has iron with it, in this case we got a lot of iron, if you walked across this pile, the gradiometer would go crazy. It would tell you you just walked across a big pile of iron. You're going to want to go back and find out what that iron is attached to. So we're going to... Do a little pause here, and we'll come right back 
and I'm going to turn on my magnetometer and my phone, and we're going to see what we can do with this. Okay, welcome back. Right now I've got Sensor Kinetics. One of their apps is a mag magnetometer. I do have it turned on. And as you can see, it is showing all three magnetometers. You see the yellow trace, blue trace, and a green trace. Now we want to check that to see if it's actually going to measure a magnetic field. I've got a nice strong magnet here. We're gonna we're gonna wave that right by right by it. Oh yeah, look at that. Off the scale. With a foot away. Foot away and it's reacting very well. Okay, now we're gonna put the magnet away. Let's get a picture of the magnet. Might not have a picture of the magnet after all that. You see the see the magnetic rock stuck to it? That means there's a little bit of iron in it. Even got a washer stuck to it. You get these on Amazon, 20, 30 bucks. These are the same magnets you see people on YouTube throwing in a canal and pulling out a machine gun. You know, same old stuff. Okay. Now let's look at this piece of ore. Look at that. Absolutely no reaction. Let's flip the rock over and check. Now in order for it to react, it's got to be moving. So we're going to move either the phone or we're going to move the rock. So absolutely no reaction. Now you're wondering about the magnet. Now we're going to take this magnet. We're going to hold it next to the rock. What are we doing? If there's iron in there, we just magnetize that iron. Now let's get the magnet out of the way. And now we're going to move the phone. Yeah, look at that. Look what happened. And now the good feels good. We made this rock basically into a magnet because there's iron. So we know now there's a really interesting rule of thumb. If there's iron and you're in a, in a place that has been known to have gold and you find iron in a rock that will react, then you are likely to have found gold with it. Very good chance there's some gold in there. May not be a lot, you may not be able to see it, but there's a very good chance when the hydrothermal uh, geological event happened, it brought in this quartz, it brought in all of this uh, mineral, mineralization and iron, zinc, silver, platinum, rhodium, palladium, uranium sometimes, who knows? And look right down here on the end, you can see some nice quartz crystals covered with rust, red rust from all the iron that's around it. So, if you want to find out if your rock has gold in it, that's a good quick test. If it passes that test, probably a good idea to go get it assayed. And I hope you guys stay safe, and good luck. Thank you.